Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We're gonna get back at it. We are going to collect our 100th star today. I don't know why I said it like that, but that's pretty suspenseful, right? All right, so I don't know. Ooh, I don't really have a plan. Ooh. All this holiday break has made my brain a little rusty, so we're gonna have to get back to business here. And we'll start with the Docto Dark. <laughs> we'll try that again. The Dark Octo Army Romp. This is another one of those Kelathon missions, which there have been a few of previously, and I have made the mistake of not noticing that there is a counter on the lower left side of the screen. It tells you exactly how many baddies you got left to to take care oops, take care of. This one, as per usual, is timed. It's got the oops. It's got the beat block music, which is interesting. No beat boops though. I feel like that'd be kind of annoying. I don't know. That wouldn't really fit with this galaxy either, but we, we're not worried about that. All we're worried about is moitering all these Octos. I'm not entirely sure the origin of this enemy. I know that it's in Galaxy 1. Okay. I'm not really doing great here. I'm not even halfway done, and I've already used up most of my time. Should probably hurry. This is not one of the more difficult missions, but it is a little tedious. Just gotta be careful. Oop! Oh no. Well, that's too bad. Okay. You know what? That's probably for the best, because my progress was subpar. We'll move a little quicker this time around. Hopefully, everybody is doing well. I'm doing well. I like having these kind of casual conversations that are a little one sided. They don't have to be one sided, though. If you all would like to comment on these videos, I'd love to read those comments and I will respond to you. It's like we're pen pals over the internet. That's fun, right? Oops. I remember that being a thing back in the day. Pen Pals. Does anybody remember Pen Pals? When I was a child, a youth, I believe in uh, elementary or, for some of you, primary school? Depending upon your country of origin, or maybe you call it something that's not either of those things, because there are more than one or two countries in the world, I think. I mean, there's like America, and then there's other places. So I'm not entirely sure what else is left, but... I was given the opportunity to have a pen pal, and I don't remember anything about them. So, clearly, it was a very healthy relationship. Ooh, we're just gonna get this done. Boom! Oh wait, that didn't count? They have to be fully dead by the zero. Okay. Man, that's brutal. I was not expecting to have to do this very difficult mission more than twice or once. Okay, game. I'm on to you. Yeah, this is uh, a little unfortunate. This mission is not my favorite. It's not the most captivating, I would say. But it's, you know, it's on the itinerary, so we gotta get it done. You could just thank you. I like watching them dance, though, from a distance. Dance for me, Octo Goombas. Show me what you're working with. But yeah, pen pals. So I did have one when I was a kid. I think I was in like kindergarten, which is uh, grade zero. I think in the United States, it's where you start. You could do a preschool, potentially. But if you don't do that, then you start at the kindergartens. I never did a preschool. I was just too cool for preschool. Never happened. So instead, I just went right to kindergarten. I skipped right to go. I collected $200. Okay, there we go. Boom. Five seconds of time should be enough. Man, that's kind of brutal. I didn't realize it was going to be so cute. Oh, I can't even see. 
Wouldn't that have been a fun way to, do, to end this episode, or begin this episode, or end this mission? I can't talk. I think my pen pal was from Europe, somewhere, on the European continent. But that's always cool, being able to talk to people from foreign nations? Foreign sounds kind of like mean though. International sounds better. Okay, looks like we got a prankster over in the throwback galaxy. Let's go ahead and check and see if we have finished out, no, stop. If we have finished out World 5, I don't think we have. I think that there's one mission that I really don't want to do that I'm going to do today. Yes. Actually, it appears that there's a couple I have not done. I'm not sure why, what, you know, causes the prankster comments to pop in when they do, but we are unfortunately doing some fleet glide. Ugh, gross. It's the fastest feathers in the galaxy. If I remember correctly, though, this one wasn't horrific you have the added luxury of not needing to get the prankster comet this time around you just gotta do a little bit of a race with this jerk the jibber jerk here we go and it's just one of them so that's pretty cool right let's go ahead and Dodge them. I think those are called like mag maglars or maglargs or something like that, right? That's, those are words that people have said before. I think. Ooh. Okay. Nope. Stop. Hang in there, Fluzzard. Whoa. Whoa, Fluzzard. You're going a little crazy. Actually, you're not going crazy enough. I need to speed up. He's destroying us. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Well. Unfortunately, not able to do this on our first try like the last mission was our first try. Taking all those Octumbas out. All right. Temp number two. I'm holding the Wiimote in my hands like it is a recorder, like a, like a flute made of skin. Okay, here we go. A lot of Sturbits that I am, of course, ignoring. Whoa. Whoa, okay, whoa. I don't think I've ever done that before. But that's too bad. All right, take three. I don't remember having any trouble with this in my previous experience with it, but then again, that means absolutely nothing. This game is full of surprises. Oof. Run, grab. Nope. Okay. Just kidding. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know, like. Oh, that's super death. That's six lives down to zero. Okay, this is apparently a less of a race and more of a siege. That's a war of attrition here. Fluzzard is not doing us any favors. Let's go ahead and go to the bottom and see if maybe we can maintain better, more better speed that, okay, more better speed that way. Our adversary is just flying. Oh man, I'm having a little bit of trouble with keeping that momentum going, but I think we should be okay this time around. The swamp is pretty easily to, pretty easy to. Oops! Oh, we got the coin. I thought I was dead. Oh man. Oh. Okay. There's still hope. Do you believe in me, viewers? I don't. Okay, here we go. If we just, I think if we just kind of dive for it the entire rest of the way, we can we can take him out. Yes, it's looking good, viewers. We just gotta hit the ring, and we've done it. First try. Incredible. As Fluzzer just continues to barrel into outer space forever and dies. Okay. So once again, we have ascended to the highest ranks of the. Jibber Jays. I don't know how Fluzzard fits into that. He's not a Jibber Jay. What did you say? That's right. Kiss the ring. Bow down to El Champion Mario, leader of the Jibber Jays.
Is that like imprinting where like when they're born, they see something they're like, oh, that's our mom. So Mario now is the mom of all the jibber jibs. Incredible. All those star bits we collected, very useful. Go get him captain and leader. Okay. Oof. So I don't think that there's any more of these that we can do yet. I know that we've gotten all the prankster, or all the comet medals. I don't like keep calling that. Comet medals. So we only have two options left. We could do a melty monster. Are we feeling melty today? I think we are. Let's check out and see what this one is all about. And I think we actually have a coin limit to do. Stroll down rolling lane. Let's see what horrors await us. Ooh, yes. Now this mission is something else. It's very good if you want to collect a lot of star bits and die a ton. And if you want to be Luigi. Why not? Here we go. Let's do it. You can play as Luigi. Do you want to play as Luigi? It's like when my family asks me, do you want to do the dishes? It's their way of asking for help in a very backwards Midwestern way. Okay, here we go. Woo! Okay, apparently, I don't know what, <laughs> it's a very, very strange way of starting this mission is you get the, uh, the boulder power up just for a, a moment. And I don't know, do these, I know that these are like little rubber bandies. Well, the, these turn into star bits a little bit. Okay, so you can get a few, few kind of cheap, easy star bits. I do really enjoy that sound effect of hitting the wall. It's very satisfying. Oops. Okay. Well, that is too bad. That is not an ideal way to do this. We're gonna skip that this time and just go right for it. We're gonna come right for him, and boop. There we go. You can go back and enjoy the, uh... Ooh, man, that is, uh, really unforgiving to be able to get any of those star bits. Yeah. I don't know how they expect you to really grab the ones that are just kind of floating around when you also got to be mindful of your... of where you're rolling. Okay. Rock Tumba's to our left. Ooh, we'll just skip all of those, apparently. And everything else. So this is the kind of tricky part here. Nope. You gotta do a little bit of rebounding. Like a bad relationship. Okay, here we go. We'll try that again. You get more of the melty molten galaxy music though, which is really good. Yeah, it's uh, pretty unforgiving <laughs> trying to get those star bits. Which this is a great place to farm them if you do need them, which I feel like we'll probably at least have one more of the Hungry Lumas ahead of us. I can't confirm that because I don't remember what's left to do in the game. But uh, I wouldn't put it past the developers to not put at least one more in there. Okay, all right. Oops. Wonderful. Totally planned. It was a tactical reset to gather more star bits. Don't you know it? All right. Let's do this again and see if we can pull it off. This mission's not too bad, but apparently <laughs> I'm really struggling to get all the star bits that I mentioned besides the ones that are kind of the gimmies. We do have 200 though, which is nice. Yeah, my, uh, I'm not waggling my Wii very well. A little flaccid. Here we go. Okay. And we'll see if we can. Oop. Okay, this looks good. Boom shakalaka. There it is. We got like 250 star bits right there, viewers. That's amazing. Amazing. Just for you guys. This episode is going by so quickly. That's star number 99. Ooh, look at that. Replenishing a healthy amount of star bits. And Luigi will make his exit. Bye-bye, Mario. Okay. 
So moving on. The game has nothing to interrupt me with. I guess we've just kind of gone to the point where it's like, you know what? I got nothing for you. Absolutely nothing. Now, there is a prankster comet of the Clockwork Ruins, which we could do, but alas, that is not what we are doing. If we all remember, I so graciously saved you from the horrors of the Coin Luma, which is what we saw there. They are hanging out down in the bottom. Haven't had many experiences with the Coin Luma. They're not a ton in this game, which seems kind of strange because of how much emphasis they put on making coins a thing. And like you, there's a like they track how many coins you have, and for some reason that means something. But I don't know. But that's okay. We are going to take our time. We're going to collect star bits. We're going to make this 100th star absolutely heckin' amazing. Not really, but that's okay. What? Who doesn't want to do a coin Luma for their 100th star of the Super Mario Galaxy 2 Let's Play? Everybody does. It's the right way to do it, you know? And I'm just kind of going by, like, the rules and laws of nature. So we need to get 30 coins. Sometimes you just gotta give up on the bit. Okay, so 30 coins and oops. Once you get that, you can meet your ultimate foe, the coin luma. Oh boy. So we have nine. We are almost a third of the way there. That's good math for you. I love this music too, so. No disinterest in coming to this galaxy. It's interesting though because you can go and like download this soundtrack for this game, which is, you know, really good obviously. The composers did a really nice job, as they normally do with Mario games, but one of the things that I think is weird is that it's a two compact disc collection. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a CD, little round piece of physical media where you can listen to music. Back in the day, we had these things called CD players with our anti-skips and our bass boosts. And some of us even had to plug those into our vehicles to listen to music because our radio sucked. And, oh no. And sometimes you just wanted to listen to your own tunes and not have the world tell you what to do. So CD players played CDs, which is kind of incredible. And uh, that coin lasted down there for a long time. And the two disc collection of Mario Galaxy 2 has all of the songs that are in the different galaxies. There's some sound effect tracks and stuff like that. But oddly enough, I thought it had all the songs, but it doesn't. I like to use these songs as my end board. I think it's fun to include some of the music there because it's all really enjoyable. But I couldn't find all of it in my acquisition of said CD. So I had to acquire it via other means, which is a little weird. You would think that they would put all of it. But then again, some of the music in this game, I think, might just be covers or remix. Oops. Covers or remixes of music from Mario Galaxy 1. Lazy! Plagiarizing off of your own work, Nintendo? What kind of world do we live in? But you won't find it all. Some of it you have to go through some less than savory means of uh, a Google search. So there you go. So we don't have 30 coins yet. I don't actually know how many we have, but I think this is a coin block. It is. This should give us 30. Perfect. We just need to ride this. Oop. Okay. Okay. No. No. Ignore this. We are not. We are not launching away. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, quit. Oh. Whew. All right. So we'll just take this little carnival ride all the way down to the bottom. I've seen carnival rides like that where you ride on these two big arms and my goodness, those terrify the poo out of me. All right, so here we go. We have our coin Luma. Can you face me, sir, and talk to me like an adult? Look at you. Look at you. 
talk to me. Okay, now you don't want to talk to me. There we go. And you don't get to control this. It just kind of does it. So here's the huge coin craving. And they are going to explode. They are so full. They're going to transform. Now that looks like a thumbnail if I ever saw one. Okay, so here we go. They have thus exploded and provided transportation for us. Very selfless, never to be seen again. Can they untransform? Is that a thing? Is that Luma just permanently dead? Or like, turned into that launch star forevers? We may never know. Oh boy. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. So this is technology from one of the, uh, like the Space Storm Galaxy or whatever it was called. This is a similar gimmick of slowing down time, distorting audio, proving that the hi that history was, of course, done in black and white. You actually can just run straight past these. There's not really much more you need to do. I'm gonna try to get this life though. Oops, nope, stop, whoa, oh boy. Oh no. I just wanna give it to me, nope. <laughs> okay, a life for a life. That was totally worth it, right? Huh, well there's the star up there. I don't think you can cheese this. There's probably like some sort of speed running strat you can do, oh boy. Speed running strat you can do that puts you up there and a gif. I don't know it. Okay. Well, I knew you know that that's not... That's not the way you go. Oops. Too bad. Okay, well. More star bits for the star bits god. Alright. It's really tough to see where a ground is. I can't... If I can just get back onto the platform. There's a life right there. That is super mean. I'm not sure they even expect you to remotely get that one. Go ahead and grab these star bits while we're over here. We are not trying to get hammered today. We had our chance during the holiday weekend. All right, here we go. We are going to grab this pipe though and move on. More star bits underneath. But yes, once again, you can just run forward. If you do it at the current rate, ooh, it kind of pushed me forward. You can just go on out and grab that star. Bada boom, bada bing, yes. These stars were a little bit on the easier side today. That's also due in part to being incredibly epic, so. I don't need to apologize for that. But I should pat myself on the back. That's 100 stars. That means that we only have 20 more to go in the full mission of this game. We'll go ahead and drop off our sweet, sweet cache with Bank Toad. I honestly don't know if there is another Hungry Luma, because we are in the final area of the game, right? But we'll have to find out what happens next time. I've been D-Mike, this has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.